We talked last week about the Packers trying to get Aaron Jones more work in the passing game, and it happened again this week. He led the team with seven targets. That is his most since Devontae Adams' injury or return, I should say. Two of those targets for Jones were deep, which is wild for a running back, and one was in the red zone. If we look at the two games since they said they wanted to get Jones the ball more, he has 22% of the team's targets, which is significant. He played 58% of the snaps, and that's the same where he was last week. And I think that that means we can put more trust in his role going forward. In those two games, Jones averaged 13.5 carries and 6.5 targets per game. That would work out to be 26.5 adjusted opportunities per game. Not a huge number, but it's a lot better than he was. I would say we've got to keep ex- expectations in check for Jones, but the arrow continues to be slightly up on him as a DFS play. What would you view his role being going forward, given what we've seen in the past two games? I mean, the the deep targets are like something, but yeah. I mean... He got those before, too. It's just he's yeah. going back to that. Yeah, I mean, I just struggle with Aaron Jones because I never trust it. No matter what I see, I don't trust that any any increase in usage is going to stick. Yeah. Um, but I, it's not like he has terrible usage to begin with. The offense can move the ball. This week was really strange. I still play like I was still up on Aaron Rodgers and Devonte Adams. I thought that they would move the ball better, but they kind of didn't. So for Aaron they just Jones, gave up. <laughs> yeah, it was like. I mean, like, that's a risk when you're facing such a a bad team, but, like, they just gave up. I'm like, I'm not tilting or anything. Like, that's not what this is. But I think Aaron Jones, honestly, about the same as I have been. Okay. Is that wrong? Well, I mean, the targets are very different than they were. So I think that you should be different on him. You can still be below consensus, but I think you should be higher on him than you were. I guess that's kind of where I am, below consensus, probably. I think that's fine. What price are you thinking, then? So they're at home against... Chicago next week. If you give me 13 carries and seven targets against Chicago at home, I would probably put that around. I would say like 75 or 72. So, uh, well, let's let's go 75. I think. Okay. Do you would you project him for seven targets, or do you think that's the high end of his outcome? Maybe like, like five and a half. I, I think that his workload, like increased okay. passing game work, is legitimate. It's probably okay. not what it's been the past two games, but I would say it's legit. Maybe that's where we're we're differing. But I mean, I still. I mean, they said they were going to do it, and they did it. Yeah. Like I think that I, makes it more legit. I, I, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just I struggle with Aaron Jones, and I always will, no matter what. It's just one of those biases that I have. So yeah, I'd still put him at like I think the lower end of what you said, seventy two. Okay. Uh, he is seventy eight. Same what he was this week. That's fine. I'll still use him. Um, like the floor Cash is... games. No. Are you that? Or... No, okay. no, 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 no. Okay, well, you, you're buying into the, the passing game usage, the uptick, right. so I'm just asking. No, no. Um, he's still got a 60% snap rate. Like, there are still yeah. flaws in his game, but the ceiling is still there. And so I'm still going to use him in tournaments. I'm not going to go there in cash games, though. I think that's the thing for me. He's not a cat. Like, any back who's not a cash game option, but still has, like, paths to upside is just they're all in the same bucket for me. Okay, that's fair. Um, he would be in that bucket for me. I just like those guys more than you do, it sounds like.